Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back to Seduce Me. We are here for some very, very bad endings, I am assuming. We got three of them. The first one is here when Malix has kidnapped you. Every time we've either called for a boy or fought our way out, but this time we need to wait until the inevitable happens where we probably die horribly, I'm assuming. So let's find out how this goes. Malix walked over and set the barrel of his gun against the skin between my eyes. It'll be so funny when they find your dead body instead. Wait. I could see Malix pull the trigger before bracing myself. Huh? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, right. I have that shield. I opened my eyes again to see Malix jamming his finger against the trigger, trying to shoot me to no avail. Well, she either has the barrier spell on her, or you're losing your power. Shut up! <laughs> I'm not losing shit! This little brat must have that spell on her! <laughs> Shut up! Felt a wave of relief run through my body. The other devils laughed at Malix, which made him angrier. I said... Shut up! <laughs> Malix suddenly moved his gun towards a nearby devil and pulled the trigger. I stared wide-eyed as the bullet from Malix's gun rammed itself into the neck of the devil boy. The wound spouted fire and blood, causing the devil to scream and flail in extreme pain before falling limp to the ground. As the body hit the floor, it began to almost deform and melt. Blood and black ash poured out of the wound in every opening that body had, causing the smell of death to quickly fill the room. I felt like gagging as the body eventually stopped moving. The body became like a deflated balloon, showing me the true nature of Malix's gun. It was now just a pile of blood and skin. Ew. The bullet had burnt up the muscle, bones, and any structure the body had to give it its form. That could have been me. That could have been me! Anyone else wanna laugh at me? Huh? The devils around us shut their mouths, obeying the warning of the obvious master of the space. Malix growled before glaring at me. Uh, as I was saying, it must be some holy magic or some shit like that. There is. The girl who had kidnapped me stepped up beside Malix, looking to me. Malix wrapped a strong arm around her waist and pulled her tight against his side before burying his face against her neck. Eris didn't react, but continued to stare at me as Malix ravaged her shoulder and neck in violent kisses. Well, that was random. Eventually, Malix pulled away, licking his lips before looking to Eris's face. Be a dear and get rid of her barrier. Now. Without another word, Eris walked around me out of my line of sight. As I turned my head to try and follow her, Malix raised his gun to my face once again, forcing me to stop moving. Why? He can't shoot you yet. I may not be able to shoot you yet, brat. But there are other ways I can beat the living shit out of you. Wait. <laughs> I didn't say a single word. I knew how to defend myself against anything he had to offer. I was slowly losing my fear of him, and it was oddly satisfying. Whoa. All of a sudden, however, I felt air escape me and rush behind me, sucked away from me by a mysterious force. It was like a large vacuum was pulling my soul out from my back. What was even worse was that I felt stuck in place as this was happening. I turned my head to barely see Eris holding a red orb that was absorbing a white stream of air and possibly magic from my body. Eris kept her eyes to my back, but Malix grabbed my face and made me look back at him, smirking. That barrier around you won't be protecting you much longer. Be patient, little human. That's interesting that they can remove that. Before Malix pulled away, he slapped his hand against my cheek a couple of times. Not enough to force my head to turn, but enough to hurt and leave a powerful sting. I wanted to do something. I needed to. I was going to die if that barrier was removed. Can't, girl, I'm sorry. I stood there. That's all I could do. I waited for someone to save me. I waited for someone to stop Malix and Eris. Waiting was all I could do. Waiting was all I convinced myself I could do, because I'm trying to get a certain ending. Eventually, I felt lighter, and the air stopped moving around me. Eris had finished her job. I didn't feel- 
I didn't feel so protected anymore. I felt fear consume me as Malik's smirk grew horrifyingly wide. And that's it for you. Malik quickly placed the barrel of his gun between my eyes once again and pulled the trigger. I didn't even get a chance to close my eyes. And that's it for you! Transform Simon. <laughs> Ooh! Well, that left quite a mess. And that was all, that was my last thought. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that happened. So that was Malik's bad end. Uh, I guess we'll see you for the next bad ending, guys. Whatever that may entail.